some I knew someone who was morbidly obese, right? But after a lot of exercise and hard work, we were able to lift his coffin. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Here's the son of a multi billionaire mogul goes to study in Europe. One night he phones his parents, he says and, and the dad says, How's your life going, son? And the son says, It's going well, Dad. And dad asks, Is something wrong? You don't sound happy. The son goes, Well, no, Dad, everything's fine. Berlin's wonderful, the people are nice, it's, I like it here. Come on, son, tell the truth. I know something's not right. Well, Dad, I'm a bit ashamed to drive to college in my gold Ferrari 599 GTB when all my teachers and my fellow students are traveling by train. Mm. And Dad goes, Dear son, why didn't you say so earlier? I'll send you 15 billion euros this instant. Please stop embarrassing us and go buy yourself a train. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Hey, Wow. Well. Well, we're going to head things off to Randy. Randy, get up here and make us laugh. Randy! Randy! Randy. Randy. All right, meatbags. <laughs> Something happened here. Wait a minute. What the oh, hell happened? My you, rear end grew. You drunk. Oh, you get past me. You're drunk, that's all. For God's sake. Yeah. Oh, Boston's standing in the way. you got to just, like, go uh, around it. That. Yeah. It ain't that. <clears throat> oh. What was I it? I had my lion avatar on, and look what happens. Right. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh yeah. You're just, just, you're just jointed. You're just jointed. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Under form avatar. Let's see. Wait. That's okay. We don't care well, about don't that. We don't hear your voice. Yeah, do you That's all right. Listen, meatbags, you know who I am. It doesn't matter if my legs are attached or not. <laughs> <laughs> right. only, the med- only the middle one, that's all. Oh, there it you is. Know, I, did, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did start off being a lion, okay? Yep. And why does nobody trust big cats? Mm. Mm-hmm. Because they're always lying. Oh! Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And What's a big cat that can't hear? Mm. Deaf Leopard. Uh, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right, here we go. This is the stuff you guys like, okay? I happen to notice for a fact, okay? Mm-hmm. Being a oh, by the way, by the way. Well, what a crowd. I tell you what, you're all beautiful. You know, you look great out there. You make me jealous, every last one of you. God, I wish I could look that good when I was your age. Okay, here we go. A little boy and his friends are being called bastards and bitches by the bullies at school. The boy goes home and asks his dad, Dad, what are bastards and bitches? And his dad replies, Well, bitches are ladies and bastards are gentlemen. Then the boy goes upstairs to see his mom. As he enters the room, he accidentally drops a perfume bottle and his mom says, Shit! Mom, what is shit? And she says, Mmm, perfume. So he goes to see his dad, who is carving a chicken. His dad cuts himself and yells, fuck. Mm-hmm. The boy asks, <coughs> dad, what does fuck mean? And dad says, mm, preparing, grinning mm. his teeth. Mm. Then he follows his dad upstairs. A few minutes later, his mom and dad are about to have sex when his dad says, where are the condoms? Little boy asks, what are your condoms? And his father says, Consums are uh, coats and jackets. Mm. Following night, his father invites over some important business clients. Boy opens the door for them and says, Hello, please come in, bastards and bitches. Hang your condoms up here. My mom is upstairs rubbing shit on her face, and my dad is downstairs fucking the chicken. <laughs> 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 you like that dirty stuff, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I say, <clears throat> several years ago, Great Britain funded a study to determine why the head on a man's penis is aft. The study took two years and cost over 1.2 million pounds. Now, this study concluded that the reason the head of a man's penis is larger than the sh- by the man with more pleasure during sex. After the results were published, France decided to conduct their own study on the same subject. They were 
decided to, to do this, and they were convinced that the results of the British study were incorrect. After three years of research, and it cost in excess of two million euros, the French researchers concluded that the head of a man's penis is larger than a shaft to provide the woman with more pleasure during sex. Well, when the results of the French study were released, Australia decided to conduct their own study. Now, the Aussies didn't really much trust the British or French study, so nearly three hours of intensive research and a cost of right around $75, about three cases of Fosters. The Aussies <laughs> study was complete. They concluded that the reason the head on a man's penis is larger than the shaft is to prevent your hand from flying off and hitting you in the forehead when you're jerking off. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> well, that's an old one. Once upon a time, a panda walks into a bar. He asks the bartender how he can get a little action for the night. Bartender motion. Walks to the panda. They go back to her place. Now, after having sex, the panda abruptly leaves. Next night, the woman goes to the panda's house. You owe me money, she says. Or what? The woman rolls her eyes and explains, I'm a prostitute. The panda pulls out a dictionary and looks it up. Has sex for money. Panda says, um, I don't have to pay you. I'm a panda. Look it up. She is about to protest when the panda hands her the dictionary. The woman looks up panda and in the dictionary and it reads, Panda eats bush and leaves. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it, all right? I, 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 I don't get it. I told that once before, I still don't. Oh, gosh. Well, I'll tell you later, okay? You have yeah. to explain it to me, all right? When you're grown <laughs> up, you'll know. <laughs> okay. All right. A doctor and his wife were having a big argument at breakfast. He shouted at her, You weren't so good in bed either. It stormed off to work. By mid-morning, he decided he'd better make amends and called home. What took you so long to answer? He asked. I was in bed, she replied. What were you, what were you doing in bed this late? Hmm, getting a second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My timing was off on that one. I gotta get my timing chain replaced. <laughs> All right. Once upon a time, a small boy asks his dad, Daddy, what is politics? Dad says, Well, son, let me try to explain it this way. I'm the breadwinner of the family, so let's call me capitalism. Your mom, she's the administrator of the money, so we'll call her the government. We're here to take care of your needs, so we'll call you the people. Annie, we'll consider her the working class, and your baby brother, we'll call him the future. Now, think about that and see if that makes sense. So the little boy goes off to bed thinking about what his dad has said. Later that night, he hears his baby brother crying, so he gets up to check on him. He finds that the baby has severely soiled his diaper. The little boy goes to his parents' room and finds his mother sound asleep. Now, not wanting to wake her, he goes into the nanny's room. Finding the door locked, peeks in the keyhole, having sex with them, gives up and goes back to bed. Next morning, the little boy says to his father, Dad, I think I understand the concept of politics now. And the father says, Well, that's good, son. Tell me in your own words what you think politics is all about. And the little boy replies, Well, while capitalism is screwing the working class, the government is sound asleep, the people are being ignored, and the future is in deep shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, I tried to tell it. It's good. a good one, though. It's a good one. You told it well. Thank you. Thank you. Once upon a time, three guys are drinking in a bar when a drunk comes in. He staggers up to the counter, points at the guy in the middle, shouting, Your mom's the best sex in town. Now, everyone expects a fight, but the guy just ignores him. So the drunk wanders off and bellies up to the bar at the far. Ten minutes later, the drunk comes back, points at the same guy, and says, He just did your mom, and it was sweet. Okay, the guy refuses to take the bait, and the drunk goes back to the far end of the bar. 
10 minutes later, he comes back and announces, your mom liked it too. Finally, the guy interrupts, listen, Dad, go home. You're drunk again. <laughs> I, I got a couple more. My daughter asked her mother, Mom, Mom, how do you spell scrotum? Mom mm-hmm. replied, Honey, you should have asked me last night. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Once upon a time, an old lady went to visit her dentist. When it was her turn, she sat in a chair, lowered her underpants, and raised her legs. And the dentist said, oh, Excuse me, but I'm not a gynecologist. I know. I want you to take my husband's teeth out. Oh. <laughs> All right, I got one more you might like. I don't know. Once upon a time, two guys sneak into a farmer's orchard, eating the fruit. The farmer sees them and comes out with a shotgun. Since you guys like fruit so much, go pick 100 or whatever fruit you want. Well, the first guy decides to pick grapes. When he gets 100, he goes back to the farmer. The farmer says, now... You have them all up your ass. The, the, the guy gets all 100 up his ass. He feels really bad, but then he starts to laugh. What in the heck are you laughing for, asks the farmer. And the guy replies, my friend is out picking watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you need one more, I can sneak it in. You want it? Sure, one more. Yeah, one more. All right, you'll like this one. You'll like this one. Yeah. All right. A cucumber, a pickle, and a penis are sitting at a bar complaining about their lives. The cucumber says, oh, my life sucks. I'll put in salads and to top them off. They pour ranch dressing all over me. My life just oh. Pickle says, well, that's nothing compared to my life. I'm putting vinegar and stored away for months, out of sight and in the dark. Man, my life is boring. I hate life. So the penis oh. says, what are you guys complaining about? My life is so messed up that I feel like shooting myself. They constantly wrap me up in a plastic bag, shove me in a cave, and make me do push-ups until I throw up. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. And that's a good close. Thank you.